in the previous video, I derived the center of gravity. And so in just about every case, and I'm pretty sure in every case that you're going to look at in this particular series of videos, the center of gravity will be the center of mass. So if in one dimension, if I call this the x direction, then the x center mass for these two points is going to be x1 m1 plus x2 m2 over m1 plus m2. And so this is uh, x1, and this is x2. Okay, so I just take this mass, multiply it by its x position, take this mass, multiply it by its x position, and together divide by the total mass. I, I should point out, and I didn't put this in the last video, it doesn't matter where your origin is. Okay, if I move the origin somewhere else, I do get a different center mass value, but it's in the same location. Okay, so if I calculate the center mass, let's say this one, uh, M1's heavier. Let's, let's say I calculate the center mass right there is closer to that one. Um, and I use the center of the Earth as the origin. And, and you kind of get a hint right here, right? I've kind of given away my, my answer. When is the center of mass not equal to the center of gravity with this picture? Uh, so in this case, if I put the origin at, of the Earth, at the center of the Earth, I'd get this location. If I put the origin over here, I'd still have that same location, but it'd have a different value, okay? So that's the center of mass. And here I'm assuming, uh, let's say, let's just say M1 equals 100 kilograms and M2 equals 10 kilograms. And let's give some values too. Let's say uh, X1 is equal to uh, the radius of the earth. Let's say that's 1.5 times the radius of the earth and x2 is equal to, um, let's say, 3. 3 times the radius of the Earth. I'm giving you some numbers so you can go back and actually calculate this because, you know, I'm probably not going to do that. Okay, now, what if I want to calculate the center of gravity? The center of mass is done. The center of gravity uh, is going to be equal to the uh, one spot where I could place a force that would be the equivalent of the two gravitational forces. Uh, and now let me just draw, draw here. I'm not going to actually calculate them. I'm going to show you that it's going to be different. So uh, if I have M1, it's going to have this. I think I'm, I picked a poor example because they're in a line and have no torque. I mean, it's still... It's still going to be different. Let's just draw it. F1, and I said M1 was larger. Uh, let's say they're the same mass. Let's change this. They're both 100 there. And so the center mass is right there in the middle. So I have F1, and right here I have F2. And you'll notice that they are not the same. They are not the same because... As I move further and further away from the Earth, the gravitational force gets less. Remember this, and I'll put a link down below. The magnitude of the gravitational force is equal to G M1 mass of the Earth over R squared, where this is R. So as I increase my distance, R increases, which means the gravitational force decreases. Okay, let me draw a slightly different situation so we can see what this looks like. What if I have them like this? And now I know I have this. There are my two forces. Uh, these, the magnitudes of these two forces are not the same. They're not the same. Okay, even if it has the same mass. So the, I'm not going to get the same thing happening where I can cancel, I can factor out the gravitational constant G because they have different gravitational constants. So if I wanted to uh, find a one single location, let's say these are connected by a rigid uh, massless rod, which you can get on uh, Amazon or eBay. I'm sure you could find a massless rod. Uh, the center of mass would be right there, but the center of gravity would be over here, which is closer to this mass because it has a larger force on it. And then I could uh, model that as one single force and uh, find the torque and the net force on this object. And I'm not going to calculate that because it gets a little complicated. I just want to show you one case where the center of gravity is not equal to the center mass. So you don't think that they're always the same. Okay. 
we'll do some problems with this center mass and torque uh, on another video. I'll see you guys later.